So Right Wing Watch uh, is reporting on what the congressional Republicans are up to, and it's not pretty. House Republicans invited Mark Morano, a semi-frequent InfoWars guest and climate change denier, to speak f before the House Committee on Natural Resources Subcommittee on Water, Oceans, and Wildlife regarding reports that one million species are threatened with extinction due to man-made climate change. Morano is the founder of Climate Ch of Climate Depot and gets his paycheck from the Committee for a Constructive Tomorrow, which receives contributions from big oil companies. Shocker. He was named Media Matters Climate Change Misinformer of the Year in 2012, and to this day, conservative media programs regularly turn to him to provide a contrarian voice against the overwhelming scientific consensus and warnings about the consequences of climate change. So this guy, we've actually covered this guy a few times before. He's um, uniquely shitty among the climate change deniers, and he's one of the most prominent voices in mainstream media who goes out there and makes the bullshit arguments. Um, and it's damaging. It's damaging because he makes his bullshit sound convincing. And all you need in order for the wrong side to win this discussion is just to raise enough doubt where we drag our feet. So nothing has to happen for them to win. Nothing has to happen. They just have to continue to raise just enough of a doubt where people go, I don't know, and then we drag our feet more on climate change. Um, for the proper side to win, we need to convince everybody it's real and then also take proactive action to stop it. The status quo is on the side of the climate change deniers. So you just don't have to do anything and they win. So it's an infuriating dynamic. And this guy is one of the worst of the worst. But yes, he is a... a, a somewhat frequent InfoWars guest, and the House Republicans are like, yeah, that guy's an expert, let's invite him to basically pretend like we're not destroying the environment and climate change is not this massive problem, and I mean, honestly, it's just embarrassing at this point, man. This reminds me of Jim Inhofe. Remember when Jim Inhofe was given a speech in the Senate, and he brought in a snowball from outside, and literally argued, see, global warming isn't happening, there's snow outside. And he took the snowball and he threw it on the, the Senate carpet, and he was, like, laughing about it, like, ha-ha, see, gotcha, stupid leftists. Uh, 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 it's so painful. These are people who are making life-and-death decisions. I mean, that dude has power. That dude has authority. That dude has control. That dude wrote a book about how climate change is bullshit, he thinks. And now Mark Moreno, this dude, um, he's viewed as like an actual expert when he's nothing but a, a, a shill and a sellout to big oil companies and to, um, you know, the fossil fuel industry in general. And he's repeatedly taken funding from those groups. So it's, it's a really terrifying dynamic, and again, to go back to a point I made earlier, when you're a kid, you think like, oh, you know, people in charge are kind of, they know what they're doing to some extent, obviously. I mean, they're, they're the ones making the decisions. They had to get there through some sort of a, a meritocracy, and they wear their suits and ties, and they're in an official-looking building. Ooh, look at how the Senate looks. Look at how Congress looks. Look at how... Uh, you know, look at how the White House looks. Were there serious people doing serious things? No. They're turning to fucking InfoWars guests to tell them about the environment. If that doesn't scare the shit out of you, nothing will.